Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Hope your day's going well. I'm working on a little photo here and I find that in these videos, especially in Luminar, um, I talk about adding filters and, or tools and doing all these things and this step and that step and this step and that step. And I don't want to give people the impression that things are complicated because they're not really. It can be very simple and in fact, um, it can be so simple that you can only use one filter on a photo at times or I should say you only need to use one filter on a photo at times. And so this video is gonna be a one filter or one tool edit. And if you guess that I'm gonna use the light tool, 10 points for Gryffindor, you got it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And give me a thumbs up if you like my video. And don't hesitate to leave me a comment, interact with me. I love uh, having chats with the community here. So here's the photo in Luminar 4. Typical nighttime in a city. This was in Florence, Italy, but City lights give off that greenish kind of orangey yellow glow and it get, gets on the little path over here and it just it just looks like crap to be honest. If that's your color scheme, my apologies. I'm not trying to insult anybody. Uh, I just don't like it. So I always change it and I change it into that. And I did it in just a couple of minutes just using light tools. I'm going to hit reset and we're going to do it. Okay, here we go. Here's light. So the first thing I'm doing is changing the temperature and uh, I'm kind of winging it here. I didn't, I didn't write down my settings because... I didn't want to write down my settings. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through here and I'm just playing with some of the uh, different tools and uh, the settings here, just trying to get the light balance. And I think I've already got a much better looking photo. There's before and there's after. I've basically, as you can see here, I changed the temperature, I changed the contrast. I also reduced the highlights and bumped up shadows, which impacts contrast. Um, I've got whites and blacks here. I might actually bump the whites a little bit, maybe take down the blacks just a tad. Now I'm over here in the tone curve, and hey, I'm going kind of fast. My apologies. I got a lot of videos here. Hopefully you've seen them. If you haven't, what are you doing? Like, why are you not? I'm totally kidding. Um, but plenty of videos here, 75, 80 videos, something like that around just Luminar 4. Um, tone curve, right? So I'm going to jump into that here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a S curve, which is a very typical adjustment in the tone curve. That's for overall tones. Um, in the red, let's see, am I going to do anything in the red? No, I'm going to go to green. And in the highlights, if I go that way, I make them more green. But if I come this way, I make them a little bit more magenta, which is a color I really like, especially like in the brighter parts of a blue hour kind of look. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go over here to the blues, and I think I'm going to take a little bit more blue to the highlight uh, areas. And maybe, should I do more blue in the shadow? I think I will do a little bit more blue. And there you go. That's my edit, my friends. Quick, dirty, super easy. There's before and that's after. Here's the sliding scale. I mean, that is a massive, massive change. And that's what I like about the light tool, previously known as Raw Develop in the uh, in Luminar 3, but in Luminar 4, it's called Light. But I have a raw file here. You can see it's a dot A A R W. Um, it's hard sometimes to say ARW because I want to say R-A-W spelling raw because it's a raw file. But anyway, it's a Sony raw file for my Sony camera. And that's the before and after. So I highly recommend shooting with raw. It gives you a bit more leniency when you're editing. Um, but regardless of what you shoot or how you shot it, the light tool I think is a fabulous, fabulous thing to become friends with. I, I generally start every photo there, unless I'm doing something like a new sky or a texture. I may often do those first and then come back and start messing with other things simply because uh, I just want to get the, the new stuff put into the photo before I start kind of jacking with the tones and colors and contrast across the entire photo. However, I'm getting a little off topic. My point was very easy, very quick, very powerful. And that's the light tool. And that's why I consider it um, kind of the one tool to rule them all, if you will. I did a video uh, about the light tool back in Luminar 3 that I, I think I called that. But um, basically, it gives you so much power and flexibility over your images. And I was able very quickly, I mean, you saw it. I was talking to you and I did that in maybe a couple of minutes. I went from that to that light tool, my friends. I love it. It's the one tool that I think you can count on in every image to help you. And you can't say that about very many tools, but light tool for sure. So I hope it helps. I just wanted to do a quick demo of how powerful the light tool is and honestly show you that even though I do a lot of videos where I have layers and I have tools and I have this and that, you don't have to make it that involved. I don't want to say complicated because that implies that it's hard. It's not hard, but it can get involved. Um, 
And it doesn't always have to be that involved. It can be as simple as one tool, get in there, make a few edits, and you have a much better looking photo. And honestly, I don't think I would change anything else about this photo. And I like to edit photos, trust me. I would edit photos and edit more photos and edit photos, sticking more stuff on it. But in this case, I'm actually quite happy. I'm gonna export, put that on Flickr, and I'm off and running. That's it, my friends. Subscribe, like, share, comment, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I'd appreciate that. And I'll see you soon. You know I'm going to be back, and you know it's going to be soon, and I'm going to have more videos for you. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care, and adios.